Good day, grade 10. In this revision lesson, we're going to be looking at sound. And we're going to just look at some questions that you might come across in an exam on sound. So the first question says, a tuning fork is made to vibrate by tapping it gently on a rubber stopper. The sound waves produced are. So first of all, you, what you need to know is that sound, you, <laughs> sound waves are longitudinal waves. That's what's special about sound waves. So immediately we see transverse waves, we can cross them out. Okay, now we need to look at these two options. And it says longitudinal waves and require a medium for propagation or longitudinal waves and require no medium for propagation. So although this question reads like something you need to solve, in fact it's a total theory question which requires you to know that longitudinal waves, sound waves are longitudinal waves and they require a medium for propagation. So the sound does not travel through a vacuum. So therefore the correct answer is C. Now it says the diagram below represents two different sound waves. Okay, there's wave P and wave Q. And this is the displacement and this is the time. So what do we know? We know the displacement is the amplitude and the amplitude represents the loudness. The bigger the amplitude, the louder it is. So the bigger the amplitude, the louder. Okay. Then what else do we know? We know that the frequency affects the pitch. Frequency affects the pitch. Okay. The higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. So if we look at this, we can see that it takes, if we go from here, it takes one and a half of these blocks to finish a wave. Whereas if we go here, it takes two blocks to finish a wave, to complete a full cycle. So therefore the frequency here is lower and the amplitude is lower. Okay, so the frequency of wave Q is higher. So we know that that is, sorry, the frequency of wave P is higher. So the frequency of P is greater than Q and greater than Q. Okay, right. Then the pitch of P, the pitch of P will therefore be higher and no, that's it. That's it. We're done. So we, cause why? We know that the frequency is re related to the pitch. So the higher the frequency, the higher the pitch. The correct answer is A. So you didn't even have to look at the amplitude. That was actually to confuse you. Okay, so that's the correct answer then. Now it says, a bullet fired from a sniper rifle 1.1 kilometers away takes 3.47 seconds to whiz past Kanye's ear. Calculate the speed of the bullet. So we know that velocity equals change in displacement over change in time. The problem with this is this is in kilometers. So we need to change that to meters. So we've got 1,100 meters because there's 1,000 meter in the kilometers. So therefore it's 1.1 times 1,000, which is 1,100, divided by 3,47. And then we're going to whip out our calculator. And we're going to go 1,100 divided by 3,47 and that gives us a silly number. So it's 317.002, so we round off two decimal places. So in fact, it's just 317. So the bullet speed is 317 meters per second. Now it says, if the speed of sound is 343 meters per second, will Kanye hear the rifle shot? And yes, he will. Why will he? Because the speed of sound is faster Actually, hang on. Yes, the speed of sound is faster than the speed of the bullet. So in fact, he'll hear the bullet and then it'll go past his ear. Now, it said, would Kanye hear the shot if she and the sniper were both in space? Give a reason. And the answer is no. And it's got nothing to do with the speed of the bullet or the speed of the the speed of sound. It's to do with the fact that sound doesn't travel in a vacuum and space is a vacuum. So the reason that Kanye will not hear the bullet is because of the fact that sound does not travel through a vacuum. Right, moving on. A steel pipe 100 meters long, so this is 100 meters long, okay, is hit on one end by, 
uh, on the end by a boy with a hammer. Okay, his friend at the other end, the side, says he hears two blows. Explain why the friend hears two blows. Well, let's think about it. We know that sound is going to travel in 360 degree direction. So sound is going to travel through the air. So the friend is going to hear the sound that the hammer makes on the metal and which and the sound that emanated out through the air. So he's going to hear that. But he's also going to hear the sound as it comes through the metal pipe. So that is why he hears two blows. Now it says, if sound travels at 500 meters per second through the steel pipe, calculate the time it takes the sound to travel through the steel pipe from one end to the other. Okay, so that's pretty easy. We've got velocity is equal to delta x over delta t. And we know that that um, is going to be the delta x is 100 meters because they told us it was 100 meters long, it's quite a long pipe. And the speed, the sound travels at 500, so we want delta t is equal to 500 because why they've asked us to calculate the time it takes. So let's rearrange it. We've got therefore that delta t is equal to delta x over v, which equals 100 divided by 500, we can just cancel the noughts, so that's one fifth, which is naught comma two seconds. So grade 10, these are typical examples of questions that you might get in an exam. Please go practice, 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 and if you don't understand anything we did here, you have some missing stuff, please go look at the videos in these sections. Have a great day.